Hey, this is Sharif. This is a guided session on how to plan your day. And our focus here, our main goal, is designing our day so that we can have the biggest impact. We want to understand what are the most important things to be working on today and how are we going to make the most progress on those things. The real strategy here is that we know that we're going to make the most progress by making time for high quality, high intensity sprints. So we want to work on carving out time in our schedule for these high intensity sprints. And then before looking at that, I just want to discuss two pitfalls that it's easy to fall into when, does, when laying out your schedule for the day. So the first one is basically just continuing whatever you were working on yesterday. So just continuing yesterday's work without necessarily thinking about what's the most important thing for me to be working on today because things do change and we don't want to just dive in and continue the last thing. The second thing that can distract us from the most important thing is the many urgent things that we have coming. So we want to make sure that we're not just uh, draw, drawn in, captivated by a sense of urgency in particular tasks, but that we're really identifying what's the most important thing, what are, what's uh, the highest priority items, how are we going to have the most impact. And then to approach this, there are four steps. I'm just going to lay them out really quickly, and then we'll just dive into a little bit more detail on the four steps. So why don't you pull up your scheduling program, whether it's Google Calendar, Outlook, or Optimal Work. That way you can follow along a little bit. Let's do a quick overview of the four steps. First is to develop the structure of the day by looking at what are the fixed things, the meetings, and then we want to schedule sprints into those gaps and include breaks in between the sprints to maintain our energy. The second thing is to identify anything that absolutely has to be finished by today, anything that's due today. The third thing is to schedule a time to take care of small items like emails, calls, or bills we might have to pay. The fourth thing is to identify what's the highest priority item that we have, how are we going to have the biggest impact, and then clearly identifying what we're going to do to make progress on that item. Let's dive into these steps in more detail. First is developing the structure of the day. What we want to do here is identify what are the things that I'm committed to? What are the things that I have already scheduled, whether it's meetings or calls or any travel that we have to do or meals? So we look at what's the start time to the workday, what's the end time, and then what are the fixed things in there? And then in those gaps, we want to identify when are we going to be doing our work sprints, about 45 to 90 minutes. So look over your schedule and then quickly I just take you know, 10 or 15 seconds to identify, okay, I think I can hit two sprints in the morning and then three sprints in the afternoon. And then also try to identify what are the breaks going to be in there. One thing I've found that's extremely helpful is I know that breaks are super important to do to maintain my energy throughout the day, but I often don't do them if, say, I just finish up a work sprint, I'm like super excited, I just want to dive into the next thing. It helps me to really commit to the break if I plan out in advance, what am I going to do during that break? So am I going to go take a short walk? Am I going to do some reading? Identifying that in advance really helps me commit to it. Take a little bit of time. I'll, we'll give, I'll give you 10 seconds here, but if you want to take a little bit longer, you can pause it. Take some time to look over the fixed items, plan the sprints, and, and identify what the breaks are going to be. Okay, so hopefully you're all done with that. Now, the next thing that we're going to do, step two, is to identify what do we have that has to be finished today? What's due today? And I'm going to want to make sure to assign those things time early in the day. And this is for two reasons. First of all is that these 
tend to be things that would weigh on me a little bit. I want to make sure to get them done early so they're not hanging over my head the whole day. The second reason is that if they end up taking more time than I thought they would, I'll still be safe and get them done on time. Take some time here to identify what are the items that absolutely have to get finished today and then assign them to some of those early sprints. Let's get started now on the third item, which is to assign a time for small items that you have to take care of, whether it's emails, calls, paying bills. These are items that maybe you're, you kind of do every single day. So it's good to just assign a time early in the day for these as well. I usually dedicate the first 30 minutes of the workday to these things. I don't want them to be coming up as distractions during my sprint. So it's, it's helpful for me to just take care of them early in, in a shorter block of about 30 minutes. I usually maintain a separate list of all of these to-do items. And that way during that uh, you know shorter sprint of about 30 minutes, I'll just run through those items as quickly as possible. Now we're getting to the all important step number four. This is identifying the high priority item that we're going to make the most progress on. So this is what's going to really give our day meaning. This is how we're going to have a high impact today. This is what's going to make our day the best day ever, is making a lot of progress on the important things. The strategy here is that we want to focus all of our attention on the most important thing. It might be tempting if you have, say, five things that you're going to try to do this week, five important things, that you might want to divide up your time today and dedicate a little bit of time to each one. It's a much better strategy to focus all of your energy and to dive deep into the most important one. So what I do here is I actually have a list of my team meets every two weeks, and I get a list of action items that come out of that. So I'm going to review that list of action items and then pick the most important one that's still not done yet. So whatever that is for you, whether it's a list of assignments you have to do or similarly a list of action items that came out of a team meeting, why don't you take some time to look over that list and pick the item that you're going to make the most progress on today. Now that you have your most important item selected, we're going to want to figure out how we're going to make a lot of progress on this item today. Maybe you already have a project set up for it on optimal work. In that case, you already know what the goals are for this project, what's your strategy, and what the steps are going to be. If you don't have a project set up for it on optimal work, no worries. I suggest setting one up for it. You can listen to the guided session on how to set up a project for instructions on how to do that most effectively. But then once you've done that, you should have the steps required to complete the project. And then what we're going to do is identify, okay, which of the sprints that I identified in the earlier step, which am I going to dedicate to this project? And then I'm going to assign specific steps to specific sprints. So that gives me a sense of exactly what I'm going to accomplish in, in the sprints and how I'm going to make progress on this project today. And that's going to set me up for an awesome day, a high impact day that I can be really excited about. That's it for planning your day. It's just four quick steps. It should take about five minutes. So just a quick recap. The first one is to develop the structure of the day, looking at your fixed items like meetings and then scheduling sprints and breaks. The second step is to look over what absolutely has to be finished today and scheduling it early. The third is making, time, making a block of time for small items early in the day. And then the fourth is figuring out a strategy for how to make progress on your highest priority item. And that's it. Have a great day.